Have you ever seen a bridge that rotates around its axis? Imagine a road that suddenly drops down like a roller coaster, or a bridge so long that it disappears on the horizon. Engineers around the world are creating bridges that leave just one question. How did they even do that? In this video, I will show you structures that captivate the imagination. The bridge. Eshima Ohashi. In Japan, on the island of Honshu, there is a bridge that looks so strange, it's hard to believe it's real. Its steep inclined scares even experienced drivers, and in photos, it seems like cars are literally taking off into the sky. In reality, it's not that scary, but the optical illusion makes it one of the most impressive bridges in the world. Built in 2004, it connects the cities of Matsue and Sekeimanado, allowing ships to pass freely underneath. The bridge is over one and a half miles long, and the height at its highest point reaches almost 150 feet. The incline here is 6%, making it one of the steepest bridges in the world. However, in reality, the road is quite safe, and if you look at the bridge from the side, its slope doesn't seem so extreme. Engineers decided to make it this way to avoid building a drawbridge. Eshima Ohashi, in its own way, reflects the Japanese ability to combine high functionality with whimsical designs, and most importantly, because of its shape. It has become a popular spot for photographs and has even appeared in several Japanese films. The Millennium Bridge in Gateshead The Gateshead, winking eye is unlike any bridge you have ever seen in your life. The question immediately comes to mind, is this even real? It is located in the northeast of England and connects the cities of Gateshead and Newcastle across the River Tyne. Opening in 2001, it marked the beginning of the new millennium. This bridge has become one of the most recognizable landmarks in the region and a symbol of modern architecture. Its uniqueness lies in its unusual design. It is the world's first tilting bridge, which can rotate 40 degrees to allow ships to pass. This process resembles a wink, which gave the bridge its second name. It is 413 feet long and weighs about 850 tons. Despite its size, it looks light and graceful thanks to its curved shape and the use of modern materials. The Millennium Bridge is designed for pedestrians and cyclists, making it an important part of the infrastructure for residents and tourists. At night, the bridge is illuminated with colorful lights, creating a fantastic spectacle and adding even more appeal. It's not just a bridge, but a work of art that combines functionality and aesthetics. Its construction cost 22 million pounds sterling, but it quickly paid off by becoming a popular spot for walks and photo sessions. Napu Bridge It is one of the most impressive and recognizable bridges. Not only in Shanghai but also in China, it has become a symbol of modern architecture and engineering. Opened in 91, it spans the Huangpu River, connecting the old part of the city with the new Pudong district. Its total length is about 5 miles, making it one of the longest cable stayed bridges in the world. Its main feature is the unique viaduct that rises to a height of 150 feet and spirals upward. This design was chosen to save space in the densely populated city and to facilitate easy access on and off the bridge. The spiral has become one of the most photographed parts of the bridge, especially at night when it is illuminated by thousands of lights, creating a fantastic spectacle. The bridge is supported by two massive towers nearly 500 feet tall, from which steel cables extend to hold the structure. This not only provides stability, but also makes it visually light and graceful. The Nanpu Bridge is not just an engineering structure, but a symbol of Shanghai's rapid development and its drive for innovation. It serves as a reminder of how modern technology can transform the urban landscape, making it both functional and aesthetically pleasing. The Helix Bridge Imagine walking across a bridge that looks just like a DNA strand and glows at night. Sounds like a description of the future from a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? But you can immerse yourself in such an atmosphere today, in Singapore. Located in Marina Bay, the Helix Bridge connects the business district with the promenade area, becoming an important part of the pedestrian route. Opened in 2010, it quickly became one of the city's most popular attractions, drawing both tourists and locals. What makes this bridge so unique? First of all, its shape. It is designed in the form of a double helix, reminiscent of a DNA structure, which gives it not only aesthetic appeal but also deep symbolic meaning. 
The bridge is 920 feet long, and its structure is supported by steel cables, which create an impression of lightness and airiness. The Helix Bridge is intended only for pedestrians and cyclists, making it an ideal spot for leisurely walks and relaxation. At night, the bridge transforms, with thousands of lights illuminating its spirals and creating a magical atmosphere. The Golden Bridge In Vietnam, in the picturesque Ba Na Hills, lies one of the most unusual pedestrian bridges in the world. The Hands of God Opened in 2018 It instantly captured the world's attention with its unique design. It appears to be supported by two giant stone hands that look as if they have grown out of the earth. They are made of fiberglass and coated with a special compound to look like ancient stone sculptures. The bridge itself is 500 feet long and is done in golden tones, which adds to its majesty and harmoniously blends with the surrounding nature. It offers stunning views of the mountains covered with dense forests and vast expanses. Vietnam. By the way, the opening of the bridge has significantly increased the number of tourists hands of God. It's not just a bridge, but a work of art that combines nature, mythology, and modern design. But sometimes, to draw attention to a bridge, a little creativity is all it takes. Laguna Garcon Bridge At first, its shape raises questions, like why make a bridge round when you can just drive straight across? But let's take it step by step. It was built in 2015 in Uruguay by architect Rafael Vinali. The bridge connects the departments of Maldonado and Rocha, solving a long-standing transportation issue. Previously, a ferry was used here, but due to bad weather and limited capacity, there was a need for a bridge. But the question remains, why not just make a straight road? The round shape of the bridge has practical advantages. The opposing lanes are separated into different semicircles, eliminating the risk of collisions. The speed is limited to 20 miles per hour, which enhances safety and allows for enjoying the views of the lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean. The bridge has observation decks, sidewalks for pedestrians and cyclists. It is 800 feet long, with a circle diameter of 360, and is supported by 16 piers. The Garçon Lagoon not only improved transportation accessibility, but also increased the region's tourist appeal, bringing revenue to the local budget. And the nighttime lighting makes it especially beautiful, highlighting the uniqueness of this engineering structure. The Veluamir Aqueduct We are all used to the fact that if there is a river and a bridge goes over it, the road is on top. Apparently, Dutch architects thought otherwise. In the Netherlands, the land of canals and bridges, there is a unique structure, the Veluamir Aqueduct. Its main feature is that it allows cars to move under the canal, while ships travel on the water making it one of the most unusual solutions in transportation infrastructure. The aqueduct was built to solve the problem of crossing a road and a canal that connects Lake Bellu and the Isselmere. Traditional bridges in this location would have been less practical due to the landscape features and the need to ensure unobstructed movement, both for vehicles and ships. The Veluamir aqueduct became the perfect compromise. Cars travel through an 80-foot-long tunnel that runs under the canal while ships smoothly sail over the water above it. The structure is made of concrete and steel, and its design ensures safety and convenience for all traffic participants. The aqueduct has become not only an important transportation hub, but also a popular attraction, drawing tourists and engineering enthusiasts. This project demonstrates how modern technologies allow infrastructure to be harmoniously integrated into the environment, maintaining both functionality and aesthetics. The Magdeburg water bridge. If the Netherlands built such a seemingly surreal aqueduct, Germany did something even more astonishing. The Magdeburg water bridge is truly a unique engineering marvel. Its project was conceived back in the 20th century, but construction was only completed in the early 2000s. The bridge, which spans more than half a mile, connects two canals, the Elbe Havel and the Middleland Canal. With its help, ships can bypass the section of the Elbe River where locks used to be located. This is the first structure of its kind in the world, allowing vessels to move over waters crossing others without the need to traverse dams. The most interesting part is that technologies, not previously used in Europe, were employed in the construction of this bridge, such as bridge supports that include locks for the smooth passage of vessels. The project cost around half a billion euros, and its opening was a significant event for Europe. 
The Magaberg Water Bridge is proof that the boundaries of engineering can be pushed to create such amazing structures. Mila Viaduct. Previously, I showed you bridges with peculiar shapes or unusual purposes. But now I will tell you about a truly grand project that is simply breathtaking. The Millau Viaduct is not just a bridge. It is a symbol of the engineering genius and ambition of France at the end of the 20th and beginning of the 21st century. This gigantic structure is one and a half miles long and in height. More than 1,100 feet, it was built to improve the transportation network connecting the north and south of France. The construction of the viaduct took three years. The bridge spans the Tarn River Valley at a tremendous height, making it the tallest bridge in Europe and also one of the tallest in the world. The viaduct is designed to minimize its impact on the surrounding nature, allowing it to maintain the ecological balance of the region. Amazingly, more than 200,000 tons of concrete and steel were used for the construction of the bridge, and each support was designed to withstand strong winds and the seismic activity of the region. Today, the Milau Viaduct is part of the A75 highway and attracts thousands of tourists eager to admire the majestic structure. The bridge over Lake Pontchartrain. If the Milau Viaduct gracefully rises above the valley, then this bridge stretches so far into the distance that it dissolves into the horizon. It is located in the state of Louisiana, USA. This is an incredibly long structure, stretching 24 miles. It connects the cities of New Orleans and Mandeville. This bridge is the 10th longest in the world and until recently was the longest over water span. The bridge was built in the late 60s and allowed to completely abandon the ferry crossing or the detour around the lake via the eastern or western shore. It consists of two separate road bridges, providing free movement in both directions since its construction. Travel from the north shore of the lake to New Orleans was reduced to an hour, and it became a crucial part of the transportation network in the region. But even considering the colossal significance and benefit of the bridge, it was not enough to handle the massive amount of traffic in the period following the Hurricane Katrina disaster. After many parts of the bridge were flooded, its reconstruction became a crucial task for restoring the region's infrastructure. The Oisan Bridge Bridges can connect different parts of a city, cities with each other, islands with the mainland, and so on. Now imagine a structure that connects two entire countries, Sweden and Denmark. It is part of a unique combined structure consisting of a bridge, a tunnel and an island. It spans 10 miles and connects the Swedish city of Melmo with the Danish capital Copenhagen across the Orsan Strait. The bridge was opened at the turn of the 20th and 21st centuries as if symbolizing not only the border between two countries but also between two millennia. It has become a crucial transportation route for tourists and residents of both nations. Its construction required tremendous effort, as the design and implementation needed coordination between the two countries. The cost of the bridge amounted to 3.5 billion euros, and part of the structure was designed with specific climatic conditions in mind, such as strong winds and icing. The Vasco da Gama Bridge. But the longest bridge in Europe does not belong to Sweden and Denmark because it is located in Portugal. When you see it, it's hard to believe that people could build such a colossal structure on their own. This 11 mile bridge was built in the late 1990s. It was constructed to improve transportation accessibility in the Lisbon region and to alleviate congestion on the main road to the capital, which was often overcrowded. The bridge became an important step in the development of Portugal's infrastructure, and its unique design and multi-lane traffic allow it to efficiently handle a large volume of vehicles. Amazingly, the project was completed in just four years, which is an exceptional example of the quality of work by construction companies of that time. It's also important to note the name of the bridge itself. It was named after the most famous Portuguese person, Vasco da Gama, the navigator who discovered the sea route to India. Symbolic, don't you think? The Jelstel Bridge Previously, I talked about bridges built either in our century or the last. But, what if I tell you that? There are colossal structures that were erected even without the use of modern technologies? The Jelstel Bridge is an ancient engineering structure that was built in the mid-19th century and became the first of its kind in Germany. 
The bridge, standing 256 feet tall and stretching 630 yards long, consists of 27 arches and was originally designed as a railway path between the regions of Saxony and Bavaria. The most astonishing thing is that they decided to use brick to create the bridge, a very unusual material for those times. More than 26 million bricks were used in its construction. After the construction was completed and the bridge was opened, it became the tallest railway bridge in the world and the largest brick bridge. It remains so to this day. And despite its age, the Gulch Viaduct remains an important part of the Dresden Nuremberg high speed route. Hantu Guard. What if I told you that there is a bridge that has stood not just for 200 years, but almost 2,000? This ancient Roman aqueduct was built in the middle of the 1st century AD and was used to transport water from the river to the plateau. Him. Pontu Guard became the most outstanding engineering achievement of its time, reaching us today. It is 300 yards long, 160 feet high, and consists of three tiers of arches, making it not only a functional structure but also one of the symbols of Roman architecture. The aqueduct was built using a special technology that allowed for a constant slope for the flow of water. Despite its age, the bridge has been excellently preserved, having withstood revolutions, wars, and natural disasters. Today, the Pont du Gard aqueduct is part of the UNESCO World Heritage. The bridge continued to function until the Middle Ages, and its reconstruction and preservation became an important step in the study of Roman engineering. From the most bizarre to the most majestic, bridges amaze us with their shapes, sizes, and technologies. Some look as if they were taken straight out of science fiction books, while others are like true works of art. Thank you for watching.